Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vishal VFX. In a previous video, we have just uh, tracked this uh, footage. So now, what we are going to do, we are going to composite this thing. I have just arranged my script over here properly so that uh, we just start our composite. Basically, I have this, these two images over here, so we are going to just replace it with our checkerboard. Uh, we have a different resolution of image. So, so what what I have done, I have just uh, added a reformat over here uh, for just like we have a project set to for uh, HD. So basically, we have just reformat this image to HD. Same over here. So now we have our two images over here, but we need to composite this thing. So basically, what we need to do first is like we just need to uh, pull this key out. So uh, then uh, we have to kill the spill over here. So then after that we have to integrate our image. Then we need to match uh, uh, this image uh, grid with the actual plate so that uh, it looks like it's uh, uh, this shot is not chroma. So what we're gonna do? Uh, we just gonna t first thing we need to st do is like we just gonna take a key light and we just gonna start to extract a mat over here. I'm just gonna like uh, basically what key light does uh, before uh, proceeding this I would like to inform you that please watch my previous video for, of new uh, uh, compositing king tutorial uh, so that you have an idea of what I'm gonna do over here so let's get start yeah I'm just gonna take a key light and uh, I'm just gonna pick a mid tone value I'm just gonna increase this so basically we just get rid of this all noise over here and then we need to clip a white we don't need uh, such kind of like a b black holes over here so if if you have it like just I will I'm gonna show you over here we're gonna just take a copy alpha then we're just gonna pre mold it now we just a second you gonna shuffle this thing yeah now you can see we have uh, this issue like it's because of a uh, mat basically so what you need to do is like you just always need to have an opaque over here opaque mat over here like uh, so I have done a roto for this thing before only just gonna copy this over here so what I have done, I am just uh, have rotated this thing over here, then I have inverted, so basically we have a hard mat over here, and then then I have blurred it, we just gonna add it over here, we still have it like over here, just it's a roto fix, yeah, so now you can see, we don't have that issue basically I'm just gonna let you explain once more that if you don't have an opaque alpha so you're gonna face an issue like over here you need to have an opaque alpha every time we have a key light over here which is gonna check it is it proper in every frame now you can see there is a noise over here still there is a noise over here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take a grid node like I did in my previous video I have explained this thing what I'm gonna do over here so do watch that video I'm just gonna take a root over here then I'm just gonna increase our like gain so basically what we are doing in our actual footage we are just increasing the values over here of pixels so we have a proper alpha I'm just gonna give a feather get rid of this noise as well I'm just gonna animate this thing yeah perfect now we have uh, alpha over here we have uh, so we need to get rid of this pill over here in this image so what I'm gonna do 
if you have this pixel for you over here so you can just add a kill spill so you get rid of this all uh, green spill over here so if you don't have it I'm just gonna just show you another way you just can take a key light which is gonna give a like value of 1 then we go just gonna have a merge node change our operation to minus shuffle this thing decide this thing and we just gonna merge and change our operation to plus so basically what it does we have just uh, removed all the green pixels over here then uh, actually we are losing a luminance value as you can see we are losing our luminance in this footage so what it does we just gonna minus this thing like we just gonna retain uh, like uh, minus this thing with the actual footage so we have a luminance over here, l over here basically but it's green so what we have done we have decided this thing so basically we have our luminance back over here as you can see okay uh, pixel and this thing both work same if you don't have this you can try this method method over here okay So now we have a uh, image like this. Still, some things are missing over here. It's like motion blur as well as a defocus. We have uh, like the image is slightly defocused, and we have a motion blur in this image. So what we need to do? We just need to ha add some motion blur as well as we need to add a defocus. So what I'm gonna do over here? We're just gonna take a motion 3D. So now what we're gonna tell uh, this motion 3D to uh, take all just to yeah uh, take all the information of motion from from this camera we're gonna just change the shutter now we're gonna take a vector blur basically if you don't have access to this uh, vector blur in nuke 10 so what you can do you just can go over here others and all plugins if there is an option update over here so you just can click over here so what it gonna does it just gonna give you like access to all the nuke nodes uh, which were in nuke 8 7 6 9 so so we gonna use this motion blur vector blur sorry we just gonna change it to motion now we have a motion in this image as you can see over here we have added motion over here now we need to add like uh, there's a slight defocus in this image like of pixel 1 or 2 like a value of 1 or 2 over here you can see so we're just gonna take a defocus we're just gonna defocus it to a value of 2 yeah now 2 it's like 1 1 is perfect so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna blur alpha over here as you can see it's uh, very hard we just gonna first we just gonna clamp it then we're gonna blur to a value of 3 or 4 yeah, yeah 3 is basically good as you can see so now we have a image which is gonna check it So basically now what we're gonna do we're just gonna integrate a footage over here so what I'm gonna do we're just gonna take a like I have shown in my previous video we're just gonna take a merge Road filter we just gonna change our operation to zo so basically we have uh, these edges over here we just gonna take a grid node we just gonna mask it 
so now you can see it is gonna yeah we just gonna increase this value over here take another filter reload so what I'm gonna I'm trying to do is just to get rid of this white li uh, white line over here as you can see we have a like Zor alpha over here like this we have just got rid of this white edges as you can see in the, over here now we have a composited image still we have it over here let me check it's due to uh, alpha roto just gonna yeah change it over here yeah cool you always need to check your alpha first thing before like uh, to remove any white edges like you, you have a proper alpha or not so how to check it I'm just gonna tell you like shift a for this thing and uh, one over here you need to check in this way like just take your So now you can say we have a hard edge starting from here and we are just ending uh, with a soft mat over here. So basically you can see we have a proper mat. If you don't have it like if your edges is uh, going uh, like just let me show you. It's, uh, it's getting shrink then uh, you are gonna face uh, like uh, you just gonna lose your details as you are losing over here. You can see it over here in this footage same way if your edges is like uh, if your alpha is out over here so you're gonna just like add a more uh, sorry yeah more white edges over here so we just gonna remove this thing over here basically you need to have a proper mat now you can see we are losing detail over here as well over here so what we are gonna do we just gonna take an erode for the part for the like we just gonna take use it for specific parts I'm just gonna change the value Now you can see we have almost have a perfect alpha. Just need to add some more. Yeah, we have a perfect mat over here. You can see we are not losing any kind of detail, but we are losing it over here. So we just gonna like. Now you can see we have proper mat you need to animate this thing basically what I have done I have just uh, eroded my alpha to get more like uh, to just uh, have a proper alpha over here and to composite this thing properly basic you can have like uh, while integrating it's like it's necessary for you to change your alpha you don't find uh, like you don't get results properly so it's like a uh, little bit of twisting uh, over alpha it's like little bit of twisting and everything is uh, okay we just gonna animate this thing
we are losing detail over here so what we got yeah we have a black hole as you can check over here it's due to R alpha hmm. so now it's about like only we need to match our white and black point so we need to check like uh, this is a way to check your black values as well as white values you can check it in this way so slightly our uh, image is this image is slightly uh, bright over here so what we gonna do we gonna go over here take a green node and we just gonna de like increase this so that we get rid of the, that value it's like slight changes as you can see it over here now it's about white uh, black values uh, we can see over here we don't have a much black value as compared to our actual plate over here so what we're gonna do we're just gonna take a grid node increase our black value yeah perfect we have added our black value so now you can see it's it looks more good composited as well you can check it over here so this is a way that you can do uh, like uh, we can composite the footages like this over here as you can see we have maintained all almost all, every detail and everything over here so basically one thing which we are missing over here is like you might have noticed or not we need to add a reflection as well over here it's kind of tough we need to have a proper like uh, track for this thing so basically what you need to do is like uh, uh, you need to track this point uh, from reflection and it's like a kind of manual work it's and it's a very lengthy process it's gonna take uh, a lot of time because we need to have a proper track then uh, proper track, f track for this thing then after that thing we need to like the same way we're gonna composite it same way we're gonna just composite it we just gonna like uh, mirror this thing and uh, we're gonna just add reflection over here as well you can do it over here but basically I have uh, in this uh, video I'm just gonna clear like your doubts for this thing you can see we have uh, all our edges preserved but we are losing uh, the detail over here so what you need to do you just need to have like roto this thing so you can see when uh, we erode our alpha we have uh, a detail over here properly so if you have any queries and uh, like if you want to ask me uh, any questions uh, you can just like I'm just gonna uh, give my Facebook ID as well as uh, email in description you can contact me over there and ask me questions uh, I'm just gonna answer you uh, so please uh, do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates and just let me know uh, like uh, what things you need to learn in your, uh, you want me to make more videos on which part uh, like basically I'm just gonna focus on that thing for you guys uh, soon I would be uploading a video for paint as well so thank you guys